History continues to be made by Roger Federer. History is made in Cincinnati. 50 years of ATP means 50 years of changing the game. Important, you have a special feeling on court and you play with intensity, so that's really important for me. That is ridiculous from the doubt. I really feel the love of the people, and that's that's very important for for everybody, I think. And when you are in a tournament and when you go, you go to practice, you, you go to the hotel and you see the people waiting for you, or you go on court and you are there and the crowd support you, that's uh, an unbelievable feeling. No? So I just can say thank you very much to all the people around the world. Every title is special, no, for sure the numbers are important for me, but the uh, most important thing I am able to, to play tennis again and to enjoy the sport. Rafael Nadal has last night secured the year-end number one in the ATP rankings for the fifth time in his career. After 2008, 2010, 2013 and 2017. I, I can't complain at all. I, I have been in, in that position for such a long period of time. I did it a couple of times. I am just happy to play tennis then. Let's see what's going on with the numbers. It's all sort of worked together to, to really teach me a lot in life. I mean, I, I've really enjoyed these last 20 years, even though s there have been so many moments that were, that were tougher than others. But um, I think overall, it's just the relationships you really grow to love and miss the most. My hope is that I've left the game better off. That's what I really hope. I mean, I'm better off for the game. Somewhere along the line, I hope I hope we're better off now than we were before before I came uh, I came into this scene. You do look back and. Uh... You do appreciate the fight and the battle. We are in entertainment at the end of the day as well, and uh, the people I hope were entertained and had a good time. Is it possible? Well, number one is obviously a huge thing that deep feeling you have inside of yourself that you're just very proud and you feel like all the hard work has all come and paid off. For me, it's very important to leave the game better off. We had a great platform when we came onto the tour. It's important that the players have a good image, that kids and juniors can look up to us and say, I want to maybe be like him. History continues to be made by Roger Federer. Arms aloft. Title number 100. Well, I think what you try to achieve in life is uh, not, you know, to be the best in the world. I mean, hopefully that's what you want to be. And, uh, you know, to win tournaments, Grand Slam, but, you know, to be number one. I mean, that says a lot. I'm the best player in the whole world. I mean, that's what players want to achieve. Uh, not everybody can achieve that thing, but. Uh, those who did, it's, it's a big satisfaction. I think that's what everybody wants to do. The whole season, the end of the year, I'm the best in the world. I think that's what the players uh, want to achieve. Patience and believing in, in yourself and your abilities. I think that's something that when you're younger, most of the people are lacking. You want everything to come right away and you want to experience the success uh, instantly, which is in most cases not possible. And what a victory! One thing is to visualize and to hope for, and the other thing is to actually be in the moment and try to take it slowly and uh, try to balance that. Oh, what a way to win it! Victory for Djokovic! I always have a high expectations for myself. History is made in Cincinnati. Novak Djokovic becomes the first man in singles to capture all nine Masters 1000 titles. And I feel that there is uh, hopefully many more years, physically, mentally, emotionally, for me to carry, to enjoy, and many more successful tournaments. 
This is your sixth Waterford number one trophy. You've done what no player has ever done before. We couldn't be more proud of you. Congratulations. To be consistent in any sport is tough to do, and, and six years in a row was a lot of work, some stress involved, and a great achievement. I mean, to really dominate that uh, six years was, was not easy, and I wanted it. I sacrificed and worked hard and, and won some tennis matches along the way, but it, it wasn't easy. All you care about is winning, so sometimes if you win and don't play well, you're, you're almost more satisfied that you found something within yourself. Game That's seven it. match for McEnroe. It's like a drug. I mean, you want to be out there, and the competition, the, the competitive juices, they never leave you totally. So you have to find, as players, you have to find ways to satisfy that.